This is looking pretty good, but we can enhance it still more by adding a subtle camera shake. Create a new folder in the content browser called Shake, and right click Add Blueprint Class. Inside that window, search for Shake, choose Default Camera Shake Base, and call it Shake. Double click on it, click on Compile, Quit Out, and double click again. You should now have access to the Shake settings. We want to leave most things alone except for the X, Y, and Z amplitudes to start with, which we'll set to 2, and the duration, which we'll set to 50. Compile and quit, then Control shift s to save. Now if we go back to the sequencer and camera track, we'll see that our shake can be added to the timeline and extended out. You can weaken or strengthen it by right-clicking and changing the play scale. Now our camera move has a little bit of organic motion on it, which can be as subtle or as strong as you want it to be. Double click on the Shake Blueprint and play with some of the settings to see what effect they have on your timeline. The great thing about the Shake is that now that you've made it, it can be added to any new sequence in this project, or even migrated to a new project. 